it's just a bunch of focus, focus. Welcome to day seven of 31 days of Halloween. Today, you saw the thumbnail, you saw the title, I'm turning myself into Winifred Sanderson and I'm so excited. I love Hocus Pocus. I love Bette Midler. I actually have a story about um, when I met Bette Midler in person that I'm planning on making a full video on because it's really embarrassing but also awesome because she's iconic and I love her so so much. Um, but yeah, so today we're turning ourselves into Winifred Sanderson. I am wearing a little bandeau but I am going to make the rest of my arms and neck, decollege, whatever this part of a body is called. I'm gonna make that look like her dress that she's wearing. And I'm even gonna go as far as to do like the little fishnet detailing on my hand. So the majority of this look is going to be body makeup. First thing I'm gonna do is go curl my hair and then I will be back to start the face makeup. Then we'll do the body makeup and then we'll, at the very end, I'll spray paint. Not spray paint, it's hair spray paint. I'm not gonna spray paint my hair. Then we'll, we'll turn this mop red. I did the hair. Call me crazy. I kinda like this hairstyle. But all I did was I curled it with like a, a tight curl. And then I teased it a little bit, put in some space buns and pulled out a few strands. And then once the red hairspray stuff goes in, it's gonna look really frizzy. Like Miss Bette Midler's did. Next step remove Z makeup. What's new with you guys? How's the weather? To take regular old glue stick. I like to use the purple one. And we're gonna block out our eyebrows. This is such a nifty trick to know. If you're ever gonna do anything special effects related, or if you're ever gonna do drag makeup, or you just want to not shave off your eyebrows for something. And all I do for this, there's a few ways you could do it. I always go in the opposite, like against the grain. I go in the opposite direction of the hair growth. So I also have, I have like thin eyebrows, but like long eyebrow hair. So I want to get it as flat against the skin as possible and just keep going. Now this will turn clear once it's dry. We'll go against the grain, against the grain, against the grain, and then up. You just wanna make it so the hair is as flat against the skin as possible. And then we're gonna cover it with foundation. <laughs> okay, my eyebrows are finally dry and my chair won't stop squeaking. We love that. So I'm gonna do one last coat with the translucent powder on top of the eyebrows. It's gonna get messy. Just trying to make myself look really pale. I am looking at a picture of Winifred Sanderson. Am I even saying her name right? Winifred, yes, Winifred. I'm looking at her picture, I'll put it here. I'm just gonna take a pencil and mark where her dress will go. It looks like it's going to be then we're going to blend. So, me personally, I have a lot of wrinkles up here, like long, they go across my full forehead, but if you look at Winifred, she only has on the sides of her forehead. So I'm not gonna enhance my center wrinkle, I'm gonna enhance the ones on the side. So all you're gonna do for that is take a very sharpened light brown eyeliner or a light brown eyebrow pencil. So I'm gonna take my eyebrow pencil, I'm gonna make wrinkles on my face and we're just gonna draw the line where we want to enhance them, just like that. And you can add as many or as few as you want. The, the picture that I'm referencing, she's making the, the nasal fold. 
How do you even make them? I'm trying to think of how I enhance mine. Oh. My. Goodness. That tickled. Where else? Where else? Where else are you wrinkled? I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give some crow's feet. I don't think she actually has a lot of crow's feet in this. But I want. I want them anyway. She just has like an orangey nude color. So I think I'm gonna mix, this is the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm gonna mix these two colors, see what we get. And then she's got some heavy eyeliner and some false lashes. That's what she's got rocking. And it's messy and it goes all the way up to the brow bone to really hollow out her eyes. Okay, I'm gonna go do the eyeliner and eyelashes off camera. I'll be right back and we'll start the body paint. The purple goes down the center like that and like that. So all this is gonna be purple. And she's got like the gold X's. Start with a lot of green, a lot of green, a lot of purple, and then we'll add some detail. Okay, so, <laughs> I look so crazy. I have added a painted on fishnet glove-esque thing. I body painted, I added a little bit of the corset straps. I'm gonna add a little bit more shadow to my clothes, maybe some jewelry, and I'm going to attempt to paint my hair red. I thought that I had red hairspray. Turns out I have this flat washable gel looking thing so I'm gonna try to do it um, and I'm gonna paint a little bit of a hairline onto my head and I will be back for the final review it's just a bunch of hocus pocus okay guys this is the final look everything you see is completely body painted except for the rings uh, it was really easy I just painted my body green and blue and then added a little bit of gold detailing. I feel um, exposed, but I don't look that exposed, which is kind of interesting. If I had to change anything about this, it would be I don't like the hair paint. I would have just stayed a brunette. I think that would have been nice. I put a spell on you. And now I am mine. I just found you. I love. Sorry, guys, my camera died. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had so much fun recreating Winifred Sanderson with not too many materials. Really, all we used today was the 
Mayron Paradise Paints palette, which is like a big palette, and then the James Charles eyeshadow palette. And that's really it besides like a glue stick and then the hair stuff, which honestly, if I were to do this all again, I would probably just stick with my natural hair color because this did not come out at all like how I wanted it to and it's still not dry and it's been a while. So uh, yeah, you could very easily recreate this at home. I would probably recommend just buying a wig, but uh, please make sure if you liked this video to give it a big ol' thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you don't miss any days of the 31 Days of Halloween series with me. I have some fun famous characters in mind to do next. So I will see you guys right here tomorrow. Bye guys. Not answering the door looking like this. I put a spell on you to subscribe.